control Z. If you go up to this icon, you can choose uh, like the, the hardness. If you want to have it like a fade or like a solid uh, line, as you can see, you can do you can you can choose all different kinds of colors as you can see we can we can use blue so that's how to use the paint tool let's say that you want to paint something for example anything yeah. what's happening guys my name is alex welcome back to a brand new video and in this photoshop tutorial guys i'm going to show you guys how to get started in photoshop real quick so i'm so excited to, to record this video because in two hours guys i have a new vegas 14 tutorial uh, releasing about the shooting stars meme so many of you will know that i uploaded the video uh, how to make a shooting stars meme back in april but that video got claimed so i decided like screw it i'm gonna make a new one i'm gonna just cut out all the copyrighted music because that video has like 17 000 views so i thought like let's make a remake video and you guys will see that in about two hours from now so let's get started with today's Photoshop tutorial where I'm going to show you guys the basics of how to get started and how to use the program. Now, first of all, as you can see right now, we have opened up a, a new project. And the first thing that you want to do, first things first, when you want to avoid crashes in Photoshop, let's say that you are working on an image, on a profile picture, on a banner, whatever, and all of a sudden, Photoshop stops working. You want to avoid that. So what you want to do is when you, before you're going to start editing, what you want to do is you want to press Control S or you want to go to File, Save As, as you can see right here, and you want to just give this a name. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm just going to call this a photo and I'm going to keep it as a Photoshop file. So I'm going to save it. So right now, when, this, when my uh, laptop even crashes, I didn't lose my progress. So as you guys can see right now, you want to press Control S uh, every now and then just to save your progress. Project. So as you can see with that out of the way, that is basically uh, the first thing that you want to do is make sure that you have saved in your project. Now as you can see right now, the next thing that we're going to do is as you can see we have a lot of icons right here. Uh, we have uh, this, the quick selection tool, we have the, uh, the patch tool, we have the stamp tool, the clone tool, uh, or gradient tool, or eraser, just so many different uh, icons and I'm going to show you guys exactly how to use them. All right, guys, so I'm gonna drag in a random image of a, of a gradient, a color gradient, as you can see right now, this one, and I'm gonna show you guys how to apply some changes. So first of all, if you want to zoom in on a specific, on a specific uh, part, what you want to do is you want to hold left alt, and you wanna scroll up and down, so it's a little bit more precision, as you can see, so that's how to do it. Now, the next thing, let's say that you want to write something on Photoshop, keep in mind that this is really basic. What you want to do is you want to press on this little icon that says the paint brush now what you want to do is you want to click on there you want to click on ok and as you can see we can start drawing as you can see I'm gonna just press ctrl Z if you go up to this icon you can choose uh, like the the hardness if you want to have it like a fade or like a solid uh, line as you can see you can do you can you can choose all different kinds of colors as you can see we can we can use blue so that's how to use the paint tool let's say that you want to paint something for example anything uh, you can just use that or if you want to make your entire screen blue it's a really quick method that I use as well just draw it blue and as you can see there we have it so that is basically uh, the paint tool and what you can do is you can also replace colors so if you go to the uh, clone or stamp tool if you want to just press uh, alt it's gonna pick a color and you're gonna you can draw it with that as you can see so it's really straightforward it's really simple how to do that so that's basically a few basics uh, you can uh, use in your in, in your Photoshop project but let's say that you finished editing a photo what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to file we're gonna click on save as and right now we're gonna save our image to a nice format that any social media thing will uh, obviously pick so we're gonna go to save as and we have a lot a lot of different uh, formats. The main formats for pictures are PNG and JPEG. Uh, so I'm going to pick JPEG, obviously, and I'm going to just call this photo. Let's say I'm going to do it like this. I'm going to save it to my uh, documents. I'm going to call this photo. And right here, this box is popping up and you want to pick the largest file. Well, it's going to make a big, uh, like a pretty big file, but the quality will be better as well. So I'm going to click on a uh, large file. Obviously, you want to pick progressive. You want to click on OK. And now that the file is saved, you can use it anywhere 
on social media, let's say for a new uh, like profile picture or a banner. So those are the few basics you can use. You can just uh, make a new project, press Control S now and then, so it will actually save it. You can use the brush tool, as you can see, to write things. Uh, for example, let's say I'm gonna uh, write J a h it's really crappy but you guys get the idea this is how to draw on photoshop as well and how to undo things just press ctrl z or ctrl alt z and you will remove everything so those are a few basics if you guys want to make me a part two like how to get more uh, advanced stuff make sure to check out the description you can find it in the link you can find it in the description so that is it for the video and thank you guys for watching i'll catch you guys in two hours for a brand new vegas 14 tutorial for this bonus episode so thank you for the support and i will catch you guys in just two hours just alex halford